What's up? It's your boy Jim Kellick here from Jim Kellick's How To's, and um, and this this is another Chromebook video. Um, this video is gonna show you guys how to um ha is how to um you know like edit how to make music on your Chromebook. You may think it's not possible, but it pretty much is. So that's that. If it's, if I say it is, then it is. And I'm also thinking about getting myself a new iPhone at some point. I don't know when. I'll still keep this one for taking videos, but I'm not going to use it to call or anything on it. Because the phone plan is going to expire, so i got to do something like that about that. But, uh, that's that. Also, this is, I'm also giving a shout out to, um, to, uh, sound, to SoundCloud for, for, you know, being an awesome music making site. But that's also what I'm going to show you guys in this video. So let's get right In this video, I'm going to show you guys, you know, as you probably know already, about how to make music on your Chromebook, if you don't think it's possible. <laughs> as I probably said already, oh man, I'm flunking here. Anyway, it's 80 something degrees outside, and it's May. So this is the online version right here. This is SoundCloud.com. Um, and uh, when you first open up, uh, if you well, first of all you have to sign your you have to sign into a SoundCloud account, or you can which is easy because you can sign in your Google account or your or or Office 365 account or even your Facebook. And when you do that, it's gonna bring up this menu right here. I personally am gonna use blank because I can I'm not really a musician, but I know how to make music in terms. So they can browse loops or patterns. I'm gonna browse loops. I'm gonna use one of my loops. So I've already been on here making music, so it makes it easier. My loops. Hmm. I'm not really a, ma a music maker, so if my music's awful, don't don't get pissed. Come on, I pause you little shit. Ah, oh, you little shit. Uh, it takes me off. So, that's that. If you want, you can also, um, you can also edit your loops. So, you could play a synth. <laughs> like strings. Like. Sorry about that, I got interrupted ab abruptly. And I was gonna say get ready. Now for dubstep loop, this is not what you use for like, you know, the uh, second layer, but I'm only showing you how to do it, so don't get pissed and be all, I gotta do it, you know, this is just, it's me freaking showing you how to do it. Probably can't hear it very well. I'm just playing a dubstep loop. Now, if you want to edit on the app, this is a Chromebook, so I was able to access the Android store. For those of you who have the Android store, and I was able to use um, this. This is this is kind of like the other online version. It's just not as good. Um, Open in studio. Now you get this on your iPhone, Windows device, or even your Android phone. And any, any any Android device, in, in fact. But if your phone's shit and doesn't have very good graphics, it won't run very very good. Obviously. Um. And this is the online. This is the app version. I don't like the app version. It's good. It's a good offline version. But even this doesn't work without Wi-Fi. So I don't even know if this even is. To tell you the truth. Oh, sounds pretty good. That's cool. Okay, I'm, I did a little editing here real fast.
my Chromebook has bad um, sound driver, so it's like, you know, it does that need to do that sputtering crap, but. Yeah, I can just break me. You guys. I don't know if it's copyright or not, I don't think it is, because it's just, it's a sample loop from me. So you basically get how, how it works on a Chromebook. So it can't install anything good like, you know, like, um, you know, um, like, uh, FL Studio or anything. But you can edit videos, you can do all this and that, and you can do photography on a Chromebook. I think photography is a, is a better option for, rather than anything else. But since my Chromebook's not touchscreen, I have one of those old ones from 2015, I gotta physically, you know, uh, use the mouse pad and stuff, which I guess is better than nothing. But I'll be doing another video in the next few days on how I use photography apps like Lightroom and... Uh, uh, whatever, whatever else I have here. Um, I also have, I also did a video called Editing on a Chromebook with PowerDirector. That is, there are other alternatives to editing on a Chromebook, but I use Power, I use PowerDirector, but not too much. I sometimes do, I, I sometimes just splice clips together on that program. But that's basically how you can make music on a Chromebook. So, yes. That being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to peace out.